All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. Should have drank more before I hit the record button, but yeah, that's just how it goes. So, uh, hope everyone had a good weekend. Uh, a lot of action, apparently. Of course, not the good kind. But I don't really see anything unusual. I mean, it's all fundamentals. And on top of that, I think I might have forgotten to mention that everything because everything was going up a, uh, quite a bit, you know, things have to come down too. If you're up 1,000, 1,500 points in the Dow, it's going to have to eventually come down, you know, just a little bit, right? Up, then down a little bit, then up again, then down a little bit. So right now we're pretty much in the down a little bit phase. Though I think today is also another down day. Yeah, it's really not that bad. And on top of that, I mean, we haven't exactly fully reopened yet either. So, I mean, fundamentally, it's like pretty much the price is about where it should be. And I did definitely remember saying there was going to be some volatility with Bitcoin. So it was almost hitting 10K. It never reached it, even though it tried several times, at least every time I checked. And then now it, you know, dropped a nice little bit. But this is actually kind of nice because remember how I said before, and we, you know, we were looking for like the big drop right before, or during the, or right after the halving. Maybe this might be that drop. Um, so we'll see. But either way, uh, it, it's definitely going to be incredibly uh, uh, volatile. So you know, it, essentially, it, it would just be gambling, right? So, but luckily, you know, well, you already know my position, right? Don't do anything, right? You just buy and then you wait, right? But I mean, at this point, most of you have are already have crypto working in your favor. So, uh, so let's see. Uh, so anyway, I don't know. It's like uh, I had a really good productive day yesterday. I was like binge watching like a bunch of TED talks and um, uh, Joe Rogan's, and uh, it, it was actually pretty awesome. I also didn't realize like. Intuitively, I thought this was hilarious. So I immediately tweeted this out, and then I woke up this morning and I actually reread re re my own tweet. I just realized, wait a minute, he resigned. <laughs> but maybe that's the point, right? You know. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to leave it there, right? So yeah. But yeah, the Obamagate thing really went berserk yesterday. It was like two million plus whatever. So I don't see it now because you know, obviously, Twatter's uh, censoring it, but. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, it probably means nothing. So I saw something from Jeff Bezos. He gave this thing, you know, 2003. Uh, basically, he compared the dot-com bust to electricity instead of the gold rush because that's, uh, and just, you know, and that's pretty much all it was. Um, and then, yeah, in, when electricity first came out, everyone was starting to create the power stations or whatever. He didn't say power stations, but he said everyone was installing electricity, right? What, what we consider modern day electricity. Uh, people were creating uh, modern day appliances, right? What's funny is it's apps for the underlying thing, right? Just like with the internet and software and computer program, we create software apps on the underlying thing. So it's exactly, it's like the perfect technology, uh, technology, analogy. Uh, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Judge rules, Illinois governor stay at home order and purchase civil liberties. hundred percent true. Uh, of course people are, of course, Democrat areas are still, you know, just don't give a shit cause they never, they never care about civil liberties. They're in control now. So, you know, you know how like the left used to always accuse the right of violating civil liberties? Well, the only reason why they gave a shit is because they were never in control. Or they didn't have, they didn't finish having control. Not that they have control. Now they don't give a shit. Now they've become what they hate, and now they're the tyrants. So it's always the same old bullshit, right? That's why you know I'm not entirely sure if you know once conservatives and the true right, the true Christians, you know, I mean the whole I run with Mon guy was really eye opening, and unfortunately it's not for the better. Even though there's more and more evidence uh, that it's actually, uh, uh, he definitely was very suspicious. In fact, there was a uh, the house that actually caught on camera has repeatedly been robbed at night at a specific time and installed cameras to find out who the fuck was stealing their shit. Right, and lo and behold, there was only one person. Uh, in fact, uh, you can actually I actually put a poll out, which surprisingly does not have a lot of traction. You know, given the media, you know, hoopla, you know, it thought this would be a lot, you know, bigger, uh, which probably tells me this, this right here probably tells you the media is significantly censoring the story now that they, you know, basically it's kind of like Trayvon Martin or Cummington Catholic um, 
So this one's a lot worse. And of course, we still have black people fucking attacking Chinese people. So, you know, uh, obviously I'm quite mad, but I mean, well, it's coronavirus. So, we'll, I mean, what do you expect? Um, let's see. So, uh, yeah, but pretty much everyone just now knows. They pretty much already know that he's probably guilty, right? It's like, yeah. Uh, the thing is, the way it was still conducted, based on what we can see, is it's going to be uh, somewhat hard, right? I mean, they're going to have to develop basically so much circumstantial evidence that they can reasonably say, infer, that uh, the, the I, run, run, I Run With Mod guy was actually uh, potentially dangerous. Because that's basically the only way the self-defense thing is going to work for the McMichaels. And even then, it's going to be really problematic. So I, I don't actually know what's going to happen because the again they basically came off as vigilantes and I believe you're not supposed to be doing that even in Georgia. So, but either way, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Uh, it's uh, oh yeah, so it's just whatever. Um, and then uh, then 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 someone uh, then the cops. I think these. I think it's this is Italy. So the cops were trying to detain a fisherman who wasn't supposed to be on the beach, and then they're like. Yo, dude, what are you doing? And it turns out to be, <laughs> turns out to be a fake thing. Yeah, I actually like this a lot because it's like, yeah, you know, you stupid fucks are gonna keep shutting everything down. This is what we're gonna do. And then the cops are like, you know what? This is fucking stupid. Can we just reopen it? Fuck this. I'd rather be arresting real criminals than like this fake shit. <laughs> The notion that black people being hunted down by whites uh, is beyond ridiculous. Rel uh, d -d 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 -d, designed to keep people distracted by blah blah blah. It's like Garden Tyranny. Yeah, she, yeah, she's smart. So, and then some black guy actually dressed up in tactical gear and shot up a married old couple out of cemetery. Um, so there's that. So I was watching Dan Brazilian. Uh, we've got. Uh, I'm not gonna play it, but basically these three black kids harass the Asian lady and then drop, and then one of them drop kicks her in the face, uh, and then laughs about it. So you can just look at it here. You want to go Andy to ghost thing? Pretty much sooner as stupid crudity, uh, police. Uh, mm -hmm. Then this black guy was robbing uh, this old Chinese guy. Uh, you know, doing the you know recycling thing, right? My, ch my parents do the same shit. Right? I tell them not to fucking do it, right? So, uh, but of course they don't listen, so. Uh, and then they let him go because of restorative justice. It's like, it's like I fucking can't stand any fucking Asian at this point voting Democrat. Yeah, I get that they probably don't like the Republicans, or at least some, a lot of them don't. But, I mean, how the fuck are you going to excuse this shit, right? It's, my God. Uh... And then she actually, and then I got this from Mike Surich, yeah, because you're uh, blah, 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 she's a criminal defense attorney and this is her thing. So basically she has the same take I would have, uh, essentially. Um, so it, it's a real problem. And then Mike Surich actually is now saying, uh, even if he was a burglar, he doesn't deserve to get shot or something along those lines. Uh, oh yeah, here I CC these two. Uh, funny enough, they did not like or well, I don't expect a retweet, but they didn't hit the like button either. So, uh, but I figured, you know, this would be something pretty relevant to what he's been talking about in his thing. I, I've also been, um, actually, I don't even think, did Jake Lloyd even say anything new? Uh, because, uh, because Matthew had to make his Twitter profile private for some reason, so, uh, blah, okay, so I probably want to be a little careful reading this. Uh, I said I thought I was going to tell he should not be around the neighborhood. So, well, so, uh, I don't know. I'm probably, it is really, it really is amazing that a grown man can handle sideways glance from somebody without flying off the hand. Probably that actually happened. Oh, yeah, I think I've walked past a couple of black people, not often, but here in even my neighborhood, like that do the exact same thing. I'm just like looking around and the guy just, and then the black guy just starts staring angrily at me. I'm like, you know, what's your fucking problem? Right? And, and I still turn away because I know there's look away afterwards and then he kind of stops after a while. It's like, you know, like people, the, these stupid fucking paranoid assholes need to chill the fuck out, you know? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I get it, but I mean, you know, given the, given the current uh, environment with the coronavirus and, you know, racial tensions, Again, I'm really quite surprised 
that there's not more attacks on us Asians. Though, of course, if this continues and keeps up, especially with the shutdown, yeah, you can definitely expect a lot, a, a lot more problems. Well, rather, I can expect more problems. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I still, here's the funny thing. I have no idea what the Obamagate thing is. I see a bunch of people tweeting about it. I know it's something to do with, like, General Flynn and, you know, everyone being exposed as corrupt, but we kind of already knew that. I should have a cell with the bazooka. Uh, uh, this is why you're doing two and vote for Bai, because this crazy shit has to end. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not real, because you're not actually allowed to have it. Such a person is not worry about the story, because they'd be caring, too. <laughs> it's probably not a real bazooka. Um, also, it would be kind of interesting to know where is he. Uh, Gripper Matthew. No one's hated more than White Man, and then he doesn't have much uh, tweets here. Uh, oh, I want to also go to Nick Fuentes. Let's see, he's got some new stuff here. He actually put up some good points here. Of course, I'm still. Ch I've also actually been looking up uh, Empathy too. So I actually wound up buying a, a book. Funny enough, I don't actually have it uh, tweeted here. Uh, it was actually by the former hostage negotiator uh, of the FBI. For the entire world, so he's an international lead negotiator, uh, and then he left, and then he worked there for twenty years, and then he created the uh, Black Swan Group. I think it's just BlackSwanGroup.com, but it's just oh yeah, that's right. He has an LTD here, so uh, yeah, uh, he has a completely different take of negotiation and, and funny enough, you know, salesmanship, right? But from a negotiator's point of view. And I always found hostage negotiations so fascinating because it's like, you know, you ever watch that Samuel Jackson, Kevin Spacey movie, The Negotiator? I fucking love that movie. Even though I don't watch it that often because, you know, the whole point of the movie is like, you know, the change comes from what you don't know. So, I mean, I already watched it quite a few times, so it, it doesn't have much uh, rewatchability, but um, yeah, he has very different takes. Like, for example, I do like compromising and I do have, I do like yes. However... His take is, yes, it's actually the last thing you do, and of course, don't compromise. Now, that's, I'm still not going to agree with the don't compromise kind of part, because there are certainly areas where you do want that. But in a lot of other cases, you probably, you, you don't even need to compromise. It's more like you really learn and uh, empathize with the other person. And he calls it, like, tactical empathy or something. So, let's see, resources library so this is the book that i bought it's like 20 bucks for the kindle but it's definitely um there's a surprising amount of complaints about it because it's like well there's a lot of stories over there very little how to do this it's like mm, i was like eh. but actually the stories are actually pretty important because because you need to be able to demonstrate what you're doing so that's why the stories are there but this is like 20 bucks got off amazon of course i decided to binge read this too so i like went to bed like 2 a.m you know, so, but I also ate chips too, a few hours before, so I needed to wake up anyway. Uh, let's see, uh, Unarmed Jargon Hunted, yeah, so they're going from Unarmed Jargon Hunted by White Supremacists to maybe he was a burglar, but he didn't deserve to be shot. So that's, funny enough, that's what, I mean, from a legal standpoint, that's probably the correct thing, because you, because uh, you actually don't want people going vigilante mode, but the problem is this, I mean, it's looking pretty likely that he was quite very guilty. So, and there was already re repeated reports that this thing was already being stolen from. They just didn't know who. I mean, it's it's pretty compelling evidence. I mean, at this point, it goes for. It's very close from going from circumstantial evidence to, um, you know, I don't want to say actual proof, but that's kind of the direction it's going. The problem is he's dead, so we can't in, we can't interrogate him. Uh, it's it's such a mess. Um, I think I will jog to the south side of Chicago and <laughs> stop into a house being right around. <laughs> yeah, if you don't get the joke, uh, he's looks white. He is white, essentially. And uh, south side of Chicago is where every, or all the blacks shoot up each other. It's like, you know, like, what, 10, 20, 30 deaths a day. Like, it, it's actually quite high. So, the most da one of the most dangerous areas of America. Uh, let's make a house. I prefer it. Well, he did so to shot, but did his victims deserve to be buried or have a hostile trespass in their homes and neighborhoods? Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't hit the like button on this. Yeah. So I have to, like, 
See, part of the problem is, since he's not very good at empathy, I can't really retweet him. And on top of that, I kind of have to try to dial my Twitter back a lot, too. So I'm kind of, like, not sure what the correct thing is. Video appears to show Arbery jogging through that construction type of tool tight. It's going back to 2019. Ooh. Ooh. Now, this is evidence. Because evidence is also, what? Proof of patterns. Huh? So here's Armand Arbery. Wow, how many how many fucking times did he, did this place get robbed? Right. Oh, I also I also didn't find my tweet, but I definitely mentioned somewhere. One more way you can also figure out if it was him ish because it's still circumstantial. Is after he was killed, did the robbery stop? Right, because there are only two reasons for that. Either A, the actual robber heard about it and was like, oh, I better not go there anymore. You know, I'm going to get shot. Or he was the actual robber and then he got the guy. So, and he was the only guy robbing the place. So now that's that's why the robbery stopped. Like, that's, a, that's another important uh, uh, question. Now, the problem is there's a lot of speculation by its nature. So that's why it's circumstantial evidence. But it's a, definitely a very good question to be asking. See, because I'm well, because as I said, I cited with the mod guide, but I was very open to the facts. I'm being very fair, and this is what it's looking like. You know, if we all did that, we wouldn't have these racial problems. But you know, everyone's being an asshole, so that's why you know Nick Fuentes is here, even though obviously his lack of empathy is going to be a huge problem. But I guess that's what uh, the situation calls for. Uh, then I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but you can just pause it and read this if you want to read it. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, but yeah, but this is basically the crux of the whole thing. You know, I definitely cannot retweet this, but it's 100% true. And eventually, it's going to collapse. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, and that's it for that. I mean, I don't know. I just went on such a binge yesterday, and while I was watching, listening to Joe Rogan, I was working on my game. So you know, I got a lot of good work done. You know, uh, what's nice is I didn't have to do too much coding because, you know, that's why I bought, buy, bought the template because the code's already done. So it's like an engine on top of an engine. All I have to do is just play around with the stats and eventually the models and, you know, drag and drop the music or whatever. It's fine. Anyway, so that's what's up with me. Um, let's see. So what's going on with the this stuff? Uh, Bitcoin is at 17 for last week. So it's actually, yeah. So people are getting interested. So that's good. The normies are getting interested. Uh, of course, we'll find out this week when, uh, let's see how they react to the crypto going to down. Bitcoin dominant 67.5%. 24 hour volume is a pretty high at 173.8 billion. We're just a couple days out from... Bitcoin halving, right? Let's see. We are. Oh, come on. Proxy with a cloud fair from a fucking Firefox. Uh, talk about the lag. Oh, shit. It's actually in five hours. A little less than five hours. All right. Well, happy Bitcoin halving day. Uh, actually, that's probably worth tweeting. Um, let me, I just want to get the URL. Happy Bitcoin halving day. Less than five hours. All right, there we go. I didn't, I didn't realize it was today. I just knew, I thought it was going to be like tomorrow, but all right. Hey, perfect. All right, we just get this shit over with. All right, so now that we actually know, actually, maybe by the time you watch this, it's already halved. Uh, so that's why there's volatility. Everyone's getting ready, bracing for impact in five hours. So, uh, yeah. Anything's going to go at this point for the very, very short term. 88 81 for Bitcoin. Litecoin's at 42 bucks a peep. Pop. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Where's Doggy Coin? 308.3 million. It's actually went up to 29th place. Interesting. Uh, Hive has dropped down to 33.45 cents, but it's up. Oh, okay, so it's at, well, that kind of sucks. All right, so there's Hive, and then Steam is 16.43 cents. So everyone's bracing for impact. So everyone's just dumping all their shit. U.S. has no need to buy back debt. Uh, that's actually important. I want to read that. Uh, negative rates would be problematic in America. Eh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I forgot to bring this up, but 
Luckily, Yahoo still kept on the front page, so I want to read that too. Super Credit Center has proposed 2K a month payment to blah, blah, blah. Acting like Bill Nard sent in a question for investigating. Uh, uh, Bill Murray sent in a question for investing legend Warren, but uh, okay, I'm not gonna fuck off. Bill Murray is kind of a weird oddball, but my very first job uh, in background acting was going into an auditorium, and like it was the very first job I ever did for Central Casting and overall. And then I was like, oh shit, it's Bill Murray. I was like, this is such a cool job. Uh, at the same time, I also kind of messed up too, and then like I didn't realize it because I was a coward. But the pretty decent looking blonde white girl next to me actually was into me, and then she got angry later when she probably realized I wasn't going to ask her out on a date. I, I, I totally should have, and she totally was like, Yeah, that's just how it goes, right? But there'll always be other opportunities. But of course, the other thing is, it's like, Well, you're really supposed to be sleeping around, right? You know, oh, that's the thing too. Uh, I was watching three hours of Joe Rogan and Dan Brazilian interview. Is the I guess the more the most recent one he has. He's like, yeah, they're just talking about how many women they sleep with. So uh, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting, right? Our current world, and then we'll have the Nick Fuentes and Grapers and True Right True Christians, you know, doing their thing. It's gonna be a clash of worlds, a clash of worlds. And I'm gonna be caught in the middle. So what do I do? As U.S. meat workers fall sick, its supplies dwindle, and exports to China soar. Oh, this is not good. I just wanted to read this. If this doesn't push people towards war with China, this might. <laughs> Congressional committee demands five uh, public companies for Turkey meant for stimulus. Da, 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 da. So here's the thing, too. I mean, there's like a 50 50 split amongst the globalists. On the one hand, they don't want to lose control, but then on the other hand, it's a good way to hurt Trump. But regardless of what choice they choose, conservatives and Republicans and people like Nick Fuentes and Groypers continue to get stronger. Uh, so one interesting thing I've noticed I mentioned before was everybody is just not the fake right and, and even Nick Fuentes himself, even though he actually explained why he did it, which I don't agree with at all, uh, is they're not talking about reopening America. Now I'm starting to notice maybe a little bit the fake right uh, now kind of tweeting about it. I don't know. Everything just seems a little shady, man. It's like I, I can't really tell. Uh, we, uh, Eric Schmidt, uh, gonna call this for Google CEO Eric Schmidt to help out. Yeah, um, I forget where I was reading this, but Eric Schmidt was actually, actually, it was Adam Townsend. Uh, Eric Schmidt is actually the antitrust guy. Um, is after Microsoft got screwed in the ass by the federal government correctly, uh, Google and all the other big tech companies were scrambling, including Amazon apparently, to also just, you know, intelligently avoid getting hit with antitrust. So that's one of the reasons why they're able to do what they're doing now, monopolize everything, censor everybody that they want, uh, or specifically censoring conservatives. And a little bit of the Bernie bros too, apparently. Uh, basically, anyone who's willing to have an honest discussion, true honest discussion, and then they just get away with it. So it's like, ugh. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time. Uh, let's see. Well, before we, I actually want to read these news stories, so it's actually pretty important. So JMC's at 6 to 7. Looks like what as high as nine. That's actually interesting. All right, four oh four. That sounds like a vacuum cleaner upstairs. That's fine. Uh, three to four for four oh four with you know a little bit of but mostly you know threes. But you could actually get four if you're willing to wait because there's a lot of trade activity. And again, it's ahead of the Bitcoin halving, so you know it's gonna it's gonna be rough. Two by two as always doing very well. Sixty seven to seventy. Very nice. Uh, cap pound coin forty eight hundred to six k. Very uh, you know, doing what it always has done. Uh, don't do that. Hey, no new people here. Uh, Bitcoin Alpha today. Uh, so Bitcoin smart series. Okay, I read. I ran friendly financing kills nineteen soldiers. Yeah, well, Iran's not exactly run by nice people. So Chinese court rules Bitcoin is, a, is asset protected by law. Ooh. I really don't want to read this simply because I want to read the other articles, but we'll read this first because that is actually pretty important. Also, all the idiots that just keep saying, you know, stupid fake shit. It's like, okay, well, China itself, the fucking CCP says uh, Bitcoin's real and legit. 
So I'm just going to browse that article and then blah, blah, blah. New crypto bill would have major impact on future finance. Of course, big shift to traders. like Bitcoin coming after the Halley says on. Yeah, it's like, uh, I mean, I want to know why they're doing it, but I really don't want to read the whole thing either. Uh, pales in comparison to Bitcoin, Weiss ratings. So uh, I was about to say what I really wanted to say, but uh, I'll just say a pretty, that's actually a kind of nice thumbnail picture. Uh, yeah, it's, we're going to put this at the end for the thumbnail. Uh, they are fully aware of what it entails. They're going to be slow over the USA for fully They wait until they were set up. Don't put Bob, be safe, move quickly. Bob Gate makes Wargate look small time. Coronavirus numbers. Sure. Well, was there a big progress is being made? Uh, here we are. Community, so fake news, disgrace, but I'm going to be sleazy. Okay. Um, yeah, he's not being overly aggressive with the reopening part. Uh, okay, he got caught. Yeah, what the fuck is. <sighs> Okay, should I ask who to help cover up coronavirus during intelligence concludes? Yes. Well, I kind of don't want more racist, black, and Hispanic people drop kicking Chinese people or myself in the face, so I can't retweet that. Uh, if it's safe for you to do so, I guess you could retweet it. Uh, but just remember, just doing so, you're going to be putting us at risk. So I kind of, like, this is what's so fucking dysfunctional about this. Can't even say the truth without getting drop kicked in the face by some racist fucking uh, minority asshole. Uh, God, what this is all over, it's like, you yeah, know, we're going to have to fix all this shit one way or the other. Yeah, I still don't know what this Obama gate is, but uh, I don't want to flood my Twitter with too much shit. Um, yeah, I think we'll do this. All right, and I already looked at Andrew Cuomo's thing. Uh, nothing new. Uh, big shift says says on channel after hell. Okay, so let me see. If we can find out. Well, it will be so. It will be the dollar crypto exchange. Uh, we'll see if we actually saw their BTC fees collected into fiat. Oh, is that what it is? The biggest sell pressure of Bitcoin will soon be exchanges selling their Bitcoin fees. It's really not that much though. Exchanges extract 1,200 Bitcoin per day from trading fees. How much is that in real dollars? Meanwhile, my bottom will drop from 918. Yeah, that makes no sense. This would only, this is only worth like $1,200 times $9,000 is at three zeros. That's $1.2 million. It's like fucking like 10. Oh, God. I think it's like 10 million. Wait, 1.2 million times 9 is... Yeah, it's like $12 million minus 1.2 million. I don't, I don't feel like doing the exact math. It's like nothing. That's only per day. Like, are people this dumb? This is the 24-hour value. It's like, really? I mean, yeah, I guess that's like what? 15% of the trade volume, but I would hardly call that whatever. It's like, I mean, it's a fair point, but it's not nearly... Where was I reading this? Uh, it, oh, there it is. It was like, that's, uh, you're way, way too big of a stress. Now, with that being said, they are maybe may not be the only person doing this, so I think maybe what that means is everyone's dumping their crypto that makes absolutely no sense. Are say attack that collect fees? Wait, yeah, this doesn't make sense because if you're dumping it and anticipating it going up, but then why would you dump in the first place? I don't know. It just seems a little weird. It seems a little weird, but there is a definite set of reasons why it always drops and it goes back up. So yeah, maybe it's just a temporary thing. They got to pay fees immediately. That could be it. Yes. Chinese core rules, Bitcoin is an asset, protected by law. Go to shake like China. Oh, hold on, let me, uh, let me just redo my bit heroes here. Um, OK, 
okay. Da -da -da. China, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to read the whole thing because we want to read the other articles. Lou, Chief Judge, so other Chinese courts have made a similar like crypto, for example. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so point taken. China, uh, Bitcoin is now legitimate in China. Perfect. That's all. That's all we care about. Um, I mean, I don't know how their legal system in China works, obviously, but I'm going to assume, I mean, I think maybe the CCP can just override them, but I don't think they will. So, because generally that looks pretty bad. You know, a lot of people in China are already pretty angry about the CCP's handling of coronavirus. So, yeah. The U.S. has no need to buy back debt. We'll take advantage of low interest rates according to Mnuchin. Uh, has no, he sees no need for the country to buy back day. He plans to borrow money long term to lock in low interest rates as the coronavirus. Okay. So we're stealing from the future to pay for today. Uh, his rationale is the interest rates are low, which technically is true, right? Like when I buy real, when I buy my commercial property, I'm going to have to get a mortgage for it, right? a commercial real estate mortgage. You know, uh, there's just no way around it, right? I mean, unless the prices in Tampa, Florida are so fucking cheap and I've got like, you know, $50 trillion from the Bitcoin bull market, right, when this is over. Uh, but I mean, even then, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm just going to put down like, I have to put, probably put down a minimum 20, 25, 50% simply because it's my first time buying, right? I may have good credit, uh, which is obviously really good, uh, very important, uh, but I'm still a first time buyer. So mortgage company are going to be like, eh. However, I might be able to get my, I might be able to get a commercial loan though through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac though, and they're going to be a lot more chill about it. But they're still probably uh, whatever. But the point is, you know, there's going to be a big difference for me if my mortgage rate is like say five to seven percent, as opposed to the American government, which probably means two three percent. You know, that actually uh, increases my cash flow on my real estate property by at least a hundred to hundred fifty percent. So my so if I'm because uh, uh, the debt service right is probably going to be the vast majority of my in, uh, uh, expenses. Uh, and the second would be either the actual operating expenses like heat and hot water and whatever shit amenities I decide to offer. Maybe I have to pay some maintenance guy or whatever. Pro I do, do have to probably pay a maintenance guy. Then the property management fee is going to collect, you know, whatever they collect, five to I don't know, four to seven percent. I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to shop around for one. I'm sure. I'm sure the guy that I'm going to get the mortgage from can give me some good referrals. Um, and then yeah. So instead of paying say sixteen grand a month in mortgage payments, now I'm actually paying say nine thousand. That's a pretty big jump, right? Or eight thousand, right? That would be hundred percent increase. So I mean, maybe the number is a little off, but it's it's big. It is big. Every point of interest is extremely important. Which is why all of you need to, you know, get good with math, you know. One of the reasons I do feel comfortable with us spending all this money is because interest rates are low and we're taking advantage of long-term rates, he told CNBC. The amount of debt we have in the short term that does roll off and the amount of debt we're using for these deficits, I think we have a tremendous opportunity without needing to buy back debt. Okay. I think I know what he's actually doing here. Okay. A record-busting $3 billion. Three trillion Okay, to fund coronavirus relief, it launched twenty new twenty-year bond and extend maturities. Okay, Manisha told CNBC the Treasury had looked at lower maturities and found that demand for twenty-year bonds was stronger. Okay, uh, could be worse than the DGDD. But shout out to a reopening over the summer. Yeah, it's it'll be fine. Just real the quicker we reopen, the more damage we can mitigate from unemployment. Because we already know we fucked up the economy. Well, rather they fucked up the economy. So yeah, and we and the market's already priced in the uh, unemployment. So predictions based on and on top of that, we have people resisting the orders. Right? I actually typed in America reopening and just nothing but a bunch of fake news terrorists spamming. Every, these people are illegally reopening with no masks and no social distancing. Look, these evil, these evil white, these evil, these evil Republicans. I gotta be careful there. I don't want people to take it out of context. But basically, it's an attack on conservatives and white people. It's very fucking evil and it's very fucking racist. Specifically against Trump supporters and against white people. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you just you can just type it in yourself and see. But it, it, it's so disgusting. It just fucking terrible and just the fact that after i have to go clean well actually i'm in the process of going clean but i still have to appear on all these asshole fake news terrorist sites 
because uh, the whole Christian just talk to everybody thing. So I don't know, man. I'm just have to. You know, I guess I'll figure it out later. Predictions based on normal economic models are difficult because the job state is a function of a closing of the economy and an opening of the economy. Oh, actually, I kind of need to read this. I'm also starting to get hungry. Yeah, because of the lack of meat at Target, my diet has less chicken. So it's actually having an impact on my diet. I mean, I'm doing okay in terms of the weight loss, but it's like I'm t technically consuming more calories. Yeah, just a couple hundred extra at most uh, other days. But it's like, ugh, I don't want to get this hungry, but it sucks. Predictions based on normal economic models are difficult because the job day is a function of close. Okay. We're very sympathetic to all workers. If the numbers are worse next month, you know, we understand. But I think the numbers are going to get better as we go into the summer. We open the economy. Yeah, right now it's pretty cold in New York City. But starting this Friday or this coming weekend, it's going to start being uh, low 70s. So I can go back to my shorts. AMC Entertainment Series 56 per hour talks with Amazon. Free workers. As U.S. meat workers fall sick and supplies don't export to China, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so we are going to read that article. I'm actually curious about this. Uh, me rather than he has to the largest U.S. movie theater owner. Oh, I was thinking a lot about this. And this is actually a potential uh, antitrust problem because there's a Supreme Court ruling that specifically says the major Hollywood studios cannot uh, own their own movie theaters due to antitrust. I thought a lot about this for my entertainment company, but a Supreme Court ruling specifically said in 1947, you cannot own movie theaters and distribute, distribute your own films. It's very wasteful and Hmm. It's very wasteful and chokes indies, paradoxically. Amazon, uh, wonder how Amazon defies antitrust. Uh, I love this for my entertainment company, but a Supreme Court ruling specifically, uh, but, okay, uh, Hmm. Gotta try to hey, fucking. Uh, but a 1947 Supreme Court really specifically said you cannot own movie theaters and distribute your own films. It's very wasteful and chokes in these paradoxically. But i uh, antitrust. Yeah, I'm very curious. This is actually really good. I actually. Um, uh, I read that. It's not clear the talk director will lead to a deal. It will totally make a deal. Trust me. I've read the everything store. I know exactly how Jeff Bezos thinks. Uh, he's he already owns AMC, all right. In fact, the people, the execs at AMC, probably already know that. They're just trying to figure out, you know, what's a fair price for our shit. AMC went from two thirty. Holy shit! They went skyrocketing. The stock was down forty three percent. This makes total sense too. I actually had no idea that AMC was actually uh, this bad, like in terms of stock price. I thought they were doing okay. I guess coronavirus really fucked them. AMC shares were, yeah, and the reason why Amazon, because first of all, I want my own entertainment kind. I was trying to think, how do you do the movie theaters? Because we still want the magic of movie theaters. <clears throat> but now Amazon, you know, this might actually push everybody over the edge. Like, because now Hollywood is going to be completely destroyed. So, you know, see, I got to be careful how I say this. The people who are in charge of the world also control Hollywood. And now they see Amazon. And here's the thing. isn't AMC is also owned by a Chinese-owned firm. So you, it's going to be the clash of the globalist titans here. Uh, so it's going to be... Uh, so <laughs> I actually think we might actually see antitrust action here, uh, especially against Amazon. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all pans out. We might be able to take advantage of the situation, which is... A little bit saddening because Amazon has actually been the pretty, uh, for the most part, has been actually been pretty consistent and the most chill out of all the big tech companies. If anyone deserves to get fucked in the ass by the federal government antitrust division, it's got to be like Google and YouTube and Facebook and all the others. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see.
Uh, AMC shares rose as much as blah, 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 blah. Stocks was down for you, okay. Uh, report are unlikely to spark a price war for AMC. Blue Intelligence. Uh, movie going is unlikely to fully bounce back in the 3D. Yeah, that's because you, don't got, you guys didn't read the Jeff Bezos book. <clears throat> Uh, AMC shows conservative exercise reactions, straight away kills already, Comcast, the AMC will no longer show Universal's movies. Yeah, the people who are running AMC are still are not getting with the times. They don't care. All right? It's about money. All right? It's like, you know, because when, when I wanted to release, uh, I like when I make my show, what I actually kind of want to do is just run my own show. You're watching on Amazon or wherever you watch it. Or you could go to a movie theater and watch the same thing. We're going to have a lot of special effects. So it would be awesome to watch the season premiere of i'm not gonna say the name of my show and it's like yeah so can you imagine like watching game of thrones in a movie theater right i mean you saw what happened right people were having events and bars they were cheering everything was crowded it's like exactly like a fucking movie theater you know i would love to be able to take my kids someday instead of watching great film on a movie theater i want them to watch like you know the opening premiere of like a really good show in the future you know, or like there was like a, or the season premiere of season of the, I think it was the last season of, you know, Battlestar Galactica, the new one. They had like so many cool fucking special effects from the Cylons and fucking ambushed the, um, it was after the trial of Guy's Bolter was resolved, <clears throat> right? It was like it had all the fucking cool like space, the space fights and shit, right? And that, like you have to experience that in a movie theater. God, I don't even you can tell from my face, but I'm already getting, uh, I'm already feeling the magic. Yeah. So I think that, I think this will be great. It will also be great for me personally, because I now, now I'll just call up Adam and say, hey, I want to distribute part of the episode show in the movie theater and, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, at that point, my show should be really popular and I'm famous and got my security guards or whatever, right? And then I should have a lot more pull. Yeah, it'd just be awesome, right? Yeah, just... Well, let's see. I mean, I assume I have a girlfriend at that point. I might be married. I mean, it depends on how many years it'll be. Uh, yeah, I'd take everybody that I, that I like, you know. Well, I was vast retail. I was on an active player streaming in a video, uh, prime video platform. I only recently, like, uh, uh, by you with guaranteeing our outlet for its movies. Yeah, here's the thing. It's considered antitrust. You're not allowed to do this, but apparently maybe you could. Ah. <sighs> Uh, I don't know. I'm really curious. All right. Uh, well, we are definitely covered a lot of stuff today. It should also be... You know what? Maybe... Discard. Let's see. Um, let's see. It should also... God damn. It should also be noted that I read the everything door about Jeff Bezos and know how he basically AMC theaters already actually I better already owns AMC they just are haggling over best price <sighs> can't wait to see tv shows in movie theaters because this is the natural way like i've known this for several years i just like never understood why hollywood studios never did this and it's because of that 1947 antitrust thing so um yeah so i'm glad that the old world order is finally like breaking down oh uh let's go back to andrew cuomo so uh yeah it's, i'm actually very excited about this very excited and of course because it'll definitely be an antitrust challenge like i can't imagine hollywood just saying what the fuck and then um you know and then we use that as an attack vector to attack you know the evil globalists and big uh, big tech so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting health silk world teats up how much do i have left um okay so this is gonna be a pretty long video because we have a lot to cover Okay, so America and all right, so everyone's doing a health silk road. Uh, Beijing posted for global around Korea, the US industry came, uh, which came to get ready, announced a new health and road initiative. Okay, it, it was funny it was, in the past, China would copy the West in America. Now it seems like we Americans in the West are copying China. That's just how the cycle goes. Uh, okay. 
To date, rather than being a leading provider of global public goods, the U.S. has mostly been the recipient of global sympathy. Yeah, that's true, because we fucking outsourced your everything. Uh, <laughs> the issue is going for both of our private sector entities to support DFC and making health really investment. Yeah, see, that's the thing. We're wasting all our money on, like, fucking obesity and, like, you know, just, you know, our shitty healthcare system when we should be doing shit like this. To build a investment in the Stephen Schwartzman, senior fellow for Asia Studies at the CFR, told Yahoo Finance. Uh, yes, the good old council foreign relations. Yeah, I mean, I don't actually consider them that big of a threat anymore because, like, time has moved on. So, like, who gives a shit about the CFR? And it's not to say they're not insignificant, but, I mean, eh, I don't know. Like, deep, deep, spa deep, deep state ha can't even fucking deal with the gripper uprising, right? They can't even deal with fake conservatives that effectively either. So, how much power does the CF uh, CFR really have, right? You know, I'm not trying to dismiss them, but I am trying to dismiss them at the same time. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really fear the uh, the old Deus Ex uh, fucking God, what, what, what were these conspiracy organizations called? Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Part of this because we're clear in recent weeks that China is making a major bid for global health care despite its early missteps. To mention, it's hard to approach internationally. Yeah, so it actually turns out that they were, um, it was very specific. I think Tucker Carlson actually was the one that broke this. Uh, but he specifically, yeah, he said that strong evidence that the Wuhan bio lab one of the scientist workers were experimenting on the bats, uh, the Wuhan bat thing that had coronavirus, and then it peed and bled onto the scientist, and then there were, and then that's what happened, and that's what I thought would happen. Like some somebody fucked up in this case, it, it just happened, and then uh, it leaked, right? And then China was trying to like figure out whatever, and he, and then Tucker said they were working on some sort of a vaccine, and they also wanted to prove to the world that yes, they too can rival. America's, you know, um, health program or something like that. Uh, and they were just 300 yards or whatever from the Wuhan uh, food wet market. Yeah, so perfect, uh, perfect store. So uh, that's what happened. Yeah, see, I don't even see, I don't have any formal training on a lot of this stuff and I already know what's going to happen before it even fucking happens, right? Before it gets reported, right? Mike Sarge does a pretty good job of doing that too. But his takes are tend to uh, definitely be uh, a little more suspicious. Um, pro probably because he's afraid of, you know, people like Nick Fuentes and the Groyper Uprising getting too much power. I can't go any further than that because then I have to mention the uh, unnameable tribe and country in the Middle East that cannot be named and criticized. So it, it, it's directly related to that. So, uh, yeah. Well, I, I'm not that. So, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people are shit-talking Chinese people in China. So, you know, pretty, pretty, I don't look angry, but I'm definitely... I'm not happy about it. Well, we could put it that way. All right. So, but I do at least appreciate, you know, Mike did finally get into his head to start retweeting, like, because, like, some of that stuff, uh, I already closed my Twitter there. Some of the stuff are, you know, was retweeted by Mike about, you know, discrimination against Chinese people by, you know, those racist black people. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, at least he's kind of aware that, you know, it's like, hey. All right. So, anyway, U.S. meat workers fall sick. But, yeah, this is technically a good thing, all right? This helps everybody. So, uh, yeah, and things will continue to get better. All right, so this is what we would end it on this. U.S. meat workers fall sick at supplies to window exports to China, new China soar. Uh, Trump ordered meat processing plants to stay open to protect our food supply. Uh, of course, they're trying to attack Trump there. Yet the plants have increasingly been exploring to China while U.S. conservatives face shortages of routers and also going to show. Yeah, this is like such a weird thing. <sighs> See, the trip was an acrimonious public dispute with Beijing or a title of the crowd and both the okay, it's not for soil, I could say I apply a point for a point where I read to help ensure China's meat supply. Uh, yeah, this is like the same thing with the masks. We're like, yeah, we know that over time works for a crew and point. I think we need to focus meaning domestic at this point. Um who support Trump's order? Prosecutorially, Smith Dale by Chair. Temporary close twenty years. 
Uh, let's see. What which one? So China owns JBA US J. Okay. So the Dishonored Army could seriously see thirty percent less mean supermarkets by the end of May. By the end of May? Fuck! I was hoping it'd be over in a few weeks. At prices twenty percent higher than last year. Coin. Okay. Well, pork supplies time has the number of pigs are each day plunged by 40%. Yeah, that means the pork sausage won't be around. Shipments of American pork have more than quadrupled over the same period. Uh, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna really piss people off. Smithfield, um, okay. So the worst major pork was in April that U.S. plant were pushing retail perilously close to the edge of supply. The company is now retooling its namesake pork plant to supply fresh pork and hand it more. Yeah. Okay, according to statement, the move is in about phase after the current recruiter last year, probably the hog curve of the Chinese army for so that local officials told her. Okay, all right, so they're already repurposing it to supply us more. Good. The Virginia facility currently serves export markets like China and domestic consumers. Going to spend most U.S. pork products routinely export products to more than four international markets. The rice effective value 50 billion. It's all the worse when the food pro food being processed is not going to our nation's family. Uh, Democrat Canada, that is what DPA is all about, program international leaders, not China's. Uh, okay. Ooh, this guy's a, this lady's a Democrat from Connecticut. Yeah. Pork processor fresh mark fresh mark resume making bay a half a goal because that Salo Hall plant is shut in me. If we're having China, I think it should stay here. Yeah, it's like what like what are you doing? Fresh Mart sell uh, a car, a small part of its business. Supply concern. Oh, please don't take me. Okay. Supply concerns could have been could have been ruined. Trump signed a deal in January to ease a trade war between Doug and Iggy. Ah, yes, that's the other thing. It's the trade deal. <sighs> wow, they're all saying fuck this and not even saying anything. China increased its burden because of their new provider, pig disease, call African swine flu, year to date. Uh, 31. So, one third of our pork. So I can't get meat because China's buying up everything. And the thing is, we've already made an agreement years ago. So you can't just break the contract. Because it's just like the reason why we are, we're not going to default on our debt payments, right? The whole thing's going to collapse. So it's like, it really is a rock in a hard place. But of course, people are just going to read this and just get fucking angry. And that's what matters. Uh, carcasses and most of the pig were at the top price. Of ADD. Export to China set a record period between January and March. Shipments all in a oh, wow. GPS, which produces poor beef and chicken, to has reduced exports to focus on meeting U.S. demand, so that's good. 280 employees at the beef plant have been infected with coronavirus and seven died, according to union officials. Many care and our needs first. Have been never signed a contract about exports, so that probably means Tyson is going to keep exporting shit. <clears throat> uh, people are already getting kind of mad at Tyson too. So probably like Tyson limited meat product return because of plant closures. Yeah, I really do think Tyson is being fucking uh, like they're deliberately doing this shit. Uh, U.S. farmers who show the financially in the trade war at Beijing say they still need import countries, including China, to buy their pork. Prior to the pandemic, they grabbed an oversupply of hogs. Yeah, so the problem is not the supply; it's actually the processing. That's that, uh, and assholes like Tyson Foods are refusing to reopen the fucking plants. Um, so I mean, I'm not. I mean, I didn't hear anything about how they responded to the DPA. Uh, but I mean, well, we have meat shortages, so fucking somebody's closing shit down. There, when they're supposed to be operating, there's enough meat for all channels. We can get these plants back up and rolling. Said Duncan. Yeah, the problem is just the stupid fucking plants. They need to reopen the fucking plants. Well, uh, didn't realize they were owned by our country. Why is anyone in the U.S. smaller? It makes me think I'm becoming kind of vegetarian. Yeah, uh, you know, don't be a vegan. I hope that this will be clear. Uh, need to be looking at the U.S. and foreign ownership prohibited. Yeah, certain things need to not be fucking bought by fucking foreigners. All right, and that includes my ancestral homelands of China. So this is kind of a big reason why we're in this fucking mess, all right? Like this is actually a security threat, all right? And then what's going to happen is people will eventually just figure out the baseline truth of that. Probably not have any emotion. They're not having any critical thinking, and then it's going to start fucking, you know, lining us up, you know, <laughs> us Chinese people in revenge as they're starving, by the way. Give the same really uh, American business. Trying to see that how many buy up. Blah, blah, blah. I've been local market a couple of times. Blah, 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 blah. So much to prevent hoarding, but more meat here would be going bad. 
I was in my local market screen and me is putting a full supply of pork, you're all stuck. The store is only for a whore, but more meat here would be well fuck. I would well, I would like some fucking meat then. Shit. Real news a bit thin today. And they said this was a two week old supply uh old store. This is not two weeks old. Like they specifically said the disruption could last until May. Ah oh, god, this this video's gonna go on for a meat shortage USA. Meat free future crash. Fuck off. God. I can't stand these fucking fake news terrorists. They always find an angle to like get people. God. Ah. As US meat walkers fall sick. Supplies do no to export to China soar. Oh yeah, they're also they're also the globalists also kinda of wanna start doing some sort of war with China thing, which is really starting to make me angry. So uh, that's also why you're going to be seeing a lot more, uh, you know, uh, anti-China stuff, you know. And what's worse is they actually have a pretty good attack angle, too, because a lot of it's based on truth, right? Um, especially now that the I run with mod guy story is going to basically die out now. They're going to need some other racial animus to, like, piss off all the Republicans and conservatives. Trump says the U.S. will start buying dairy, meat, and produce from farmers amid supply chain disruptions. The U.S. will start rolling out a program to purchase three billion of dairy, meat, and produce from farmers and ranchers early next week. <clears throat> Trump announced on Saturday. As the pandemic disrupts supply chains across the country, farmers have been forced to destroy their crops, dump milk, and throw up perishable items that can't be stored. Uh oh. Okay, so this is good. All right, so they're going to subsidize the suppliers. Um. I assume Trump must have a plan to store all this stuff, though, so that it can be processed later. And the pandemic disrupts uh, farmers have been forced to destroy their crops, dump milk, and throw up personal that can't be stored. Further than that, for a plan during national lockdown, farmers have been an oversupply of food they can't sell. The U.S. store only a problem to purchase three billion dairy meat uh, uh, early next week. As pandemic disrupts, farmers have been forced to destroy. President and tweets said three billion dollars for farming the food, but they're not provide further details. I mean, shit, we need Jeff Bezos to start up a fucking farming system at this point. <laughs> the president recently announced a ninety billion dollar call the coronavirus food. Okay, U.S. food bank provide relief to million also early employee calling on the mayor on parent of Trump is extending executive order. You know, some chicken process the only staff showing due to the virus have been forced to euthanize chicken is plant resulted in the only. Oh, and that's the end of the article. Uh, okay. Um, plant closures, USA meat. This is really what we need. US could be weeks from. Ten, as you know, if I say, do no uh, okay, plant closures, exports to China soar, US and Canadian plant closure, car, uh, uh, you call. JBS Greeley plant closed down the coronavirus outbreak April 14, 2020. Wow, they closed it in. Virus cases. So this was from basically last month. Uh, okay, this is really problematic. I mean, it's going to take a while for the Department of Justice to really do anything. I mean, even if they do fight something, mean, where are they going to. I mean, I don't know. How, how, how much authority does America really have to force open the plants? Um, I don't know. That's kind of interesting. That someone said this was an old story. Uh, Chinese owned. Um, well, this doesn't. Well, as I already said, boycotts do not work. So, plus, you're, if you're going to be starving, you're going to be buying. You're going to be buying this. All I have a little bit of the price preferred is well, if there's how high price has fallen. Uh, well, you're calling shots, I have a better taste, better develop a taste for rice cakes at re education camps. I'll actually download because he's obviously being a racist asshole, F word, but it is also kind of funny too. Uh, I know it's not just the CCP calling the shots. This is why I'm getting so annoyed. I always see China hate, but where's the uh, where's the other country in the Middle East that's not being named uh, being named too? Like fucking assholes. Uh, that's what Trump and Mark Malley did. We need me. I'm gonna be right. I shall have you. Yesterday she tells me she's positive. Um. 
Now, let's see. I thought I saw Irish is trying to Hey, now the shipping area of me too. Oh, yeah. Well, wait, did, did Obama do that? I mean, just because it happened under his watch, it may or may not. I mean, we should, I mean, we should definitely have fucking said no to this. <clears throat> oh, is this actually what it's... Oh yeah, so if that's what the trade agreement is, yeah. See, it's it's more it's more complicated than that. But I mean, we kind of need the food too. This is going to be problematic. All right. Well, we're just going to have to keep an eye on it. Oh god, I mean, I'm going to be eating more Gordon fish sticks for like another month. I, I mean, as good as it is, it doesn't fill them up my belly. All right. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash um, GMC Radio. Make sure you smash the subscribe on the right hand side of this page so we continue uh, growing this channel. Yep. All right. So this was a very long video, but lots to cover. So uh, anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, not much happening in the markets because of you know just volatility, normal market volatility, and of course Bitcoin's halving in you know four hours now. I guess four and a half hours. So uh, we'll see uh, what the action is tomorrow. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, right now I'm just focused on the meat shortage because obviously that's the thing that affects me the most. Uh, and of course, uh, racist attacks against South Asian people too. So we're just gonna have to see what, how the hell uh, this will play out for me personally. But you know, uh, yeah, I'll get better. But it'll just be more annoying for a little while longer. Anyway, but good things are happening. Amazon's gonna be buying on AMC at any some point soon, and uh, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and uh, yeah, I guess we could just use. I'm actually curious to see what's going to happen if I use this as a thumbnail.